Hi everyone, how are you? Happy Monday. Look where I am in the studio. Very exciting. Um, it's a mess, but it's very exciting. Um, yeah, I've had I've had a really nice morning painting, having fun. It's been absolutely cracking. Um, what else have I been up to? Uh, doing some filming for some editing of films. Um, had a great weekend as well. I've done lots of um, cleaning and, and clearing. It was kind of my husband and I were feeling very, very sluggish uh, this weekend. Ed and I were feeling a bit ugh. So um, it was really nice actually to just spend a day cleaning. <laughs> it's, just, it's probably the first and only time that I will ever say that. Um, let's just get this up. So say hi if you're watching. Really, really nice to have you with us. This week we're doing oil pastels. Um, so hopefully you've got your oil pastels at the ready and a piece of paper. I've got quite a nice thick piece of cartridge paper because oil pastels sometimes can just sit on the top of the paper and then all the oil kind of eventually later on you find all these oil stains um, if you use a very thin paper like photocopier paper or anything like that. Um, so try and make sure you've got a, a thicker piece of paper. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Um, we had board game Sunday yesterday but ended up listening to Ed on the radio. So if anybody wants um, a couple of hours listening to the madness I have to live with all the time. Um, Thursday nights on XRP radio, I think it's called. Um, it's a digital radio station. So yeah, have a listen. Ed's going to play some unsigned bands, which is quite exciting. Um, yeah, it's all good. So say hi if you're with us. Hello, Cheryl. Cheryl, you made it. Hi, Dad. Excellent stuff. Nice to see you. Excellent. Now I have, um, because I'm in the studio, I didn't bring my oil pastels from home. So it's the same set that I've got at home, but it's new. They're all new oil pastels and they're all just been opened. It's just, I'm getting way too excited about that, I know. Um, but it's, it is exciting. Um, so we are going today to be making, or to be drawing, uh, an avocado. I had some avocados left in uh, in my fridge and uh, so we de I decided that's what we're going to draw today. So I've got my oil pastels, my paper, and I also have a piece of kitchen towel as well. Kitchen towel, really, really useful with oil pastels because it's great for blending and it means that you don't have to use your finger. Look, I've been blending already this morning. You can see the dirty fingers, ugh, oil pastels everywhere. That doesn't happen. And it means you don't get friction burn on your fingers as well. So I'm gonna drop you guys down and we will get started. There we go. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is the pip in the middle. So I'm gonna look at the kind of browns that I've got. Um, and the, the pip is, is quite kind of, when well, it's clean anyway, it's quite kind of ready, isn't it? So I'm gonna use some reds as well. I think I might just use those. Maybe that one. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go in the lighter color to just get a nice pip shape going on there. They're quite round, aren't they? They're quite roundish. Okay, so I'm gonna use a nice ready color to really press down with your oil pastels. These are nice and fresh. These are pressing down beautifully. I am gonna leave a little bit of a gap there. There we go. And then I'm gonna come in with a slightly darker oil pastel just around this bottom edge. And then the even darker brown right around just the very bottom. And then I'm gonna go back to that light one that I was using, which I think was actually that one. And get a nice middle bit going there. So we create a little bit of shadow, a little bit of shade with the colors that we have. There we go. So again, I'm gonna use uh, the kitchen towel. I'm just gonna twist it around my finger and blow the ex tap the excess off. And then just blend from the lighter color to the darker color. Look at that, yeah, really nice 3D effect by using those lighter and darker colors. Love that, that's a beautiful pip. Um, so I'm gonna work back in just a little bit of the lighter brown and a little bit of cream into there as well. 
just to get the nice shine on it. There we go. Happy with that. Okay, so now we're going to do our avocado kind of flesh. Um, so I'm going to go with, let's put these browns back. And then I'm going to keep the cream out because I'll need that. Uh, we're going to go with, let's have a look at these greens that I've got. These kind of more muted colours. I think this is probably, no, I might be all right. Um, but we'll go with the muted colours. So the outer cut, the outer colour, I'm going to go with the darkest. And again, I'm just going to try and get our avocado shape going. This is a nice, big, fat, juicy avocado. Some avocados you get a little bit on the skinny side. So now that I'm happy with that shape, I've kind of roughly sketched out, I'm just gonna do very nice darkened line all the way around with this nice dark one. Whoa, there we go, that was pressing very hard and hurting my finger. Okay, doke so then I'm gonna use, so I've got these two kind of muted tones so I'm going to use this one next that's more green and then the slightly browner one afterwards. So again, I'm just going to draw a line around the inside of that there avocado. And the same with this one. Thin, nice and thin, nice and thin. I went a little bit thick there. There we go. And then I'm going to go to our nice, let's just test that colour first. Yeah, a nice lime green coming around the edge there. So obviously if you've only got one or two greens in your oil pastels, just go from the darker one to the lighter one. Don't worry about the different shades in the middle. And then I'm going to blend this lovely cream colour into that green. Because the inside of an avocado, the flesh is kind of a bit creamy, isn't it? Now, I'm going to really press nice and hard with this because we're going to blend that green into the cream. Whereas with the pip, we went from the light to the dark. We're going to blend the green into the cream very, very slightly. I'm just going to go very carefully around my pip there. Look at that. Beautiful. He looks a bit squashed at the edges, that avocado, doesn't he? Right, let's wipe that off. Clean these as they're brand new oil pastels. Um, so I'm going to use, again, I'm going to grab my, my kitchen towel, get a fresh bit. Round there. And you're going to blend those greens all the way around and we're going to slightly, I'm going to get a fresh bit because I'm going into the cream can you get that green to go slightly into the cream there there we go, so we get a nice kind of green tints going on into that cream there we go i'm liking that I'm loving that I'm loving that and then last but not least we're going to go back to that very darkest brown that we used for the pip and i'm just going to add bits of it not the whole way around but just occasionally alongside the green the dark green just going to add little bits of brown to show that it's nice and ripe. There we go, tap the excess off. One beautiful avocado. Loving it, absolutely loving that. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, followed that, hopefully you managed to be able to do that. Um, do take photographs, pop it below, because I always love to see the photographs of the finished articles that you guys do. Um, so yeah, have a go, have a go with the oil pastels. Even if you've got a more limited palette, absolutely fine. Just use what you've got. You can always use a kind of green and a bit of white uh, in the middle there instead of a cream, if you haven't got cream. Um, would love to see those, would love to see those. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow you'll need your oil pastels, you'll need a thick bit of paper. 
you will also need something to scratch at the oil pastel. So either like a chopstick or a paper clip uh, or a pencil um, will do, but hopefully, yeah, something like, uh, like a chopstick or a, or a paper clip works really, really well. And we'll have a go at that tomorrow, which would be great fun. I'm really looking forward to it, I'm very excited. Um, so, have a good rest of your Monday, whatever you guys are up to, enjoy, and I will see you tomorrow at 1pm. Bye!